before the operating system is even put up. So now, if you're uh, uh, in the know and say, ah, they corrupted my operating system image, so what I'll do is I'll wipe out my, co my uh, operating system files, reload those files, and that should get rid of the malware. Not at all. When you boot up, the master boot record is executed, it has the corruption, on the way up, it re-corrupts re your, your files. So you, you can't get rid of it. So that's some of the mechanisms by which malware implants itself and becomes permanent part of your uh, environment. The way in which machines, the, the computer operates itself, um, microprocessors, when you apply power, there's an address that they will use to go out and get software from to run. Initially, that software used to be in read-only memory, ROM. So that's the, the, the really fundamental, the, the rock-bottom piece of software, sometimes called firmware, when they were in read-only memories because you couldn't change them. So you apply power, there's an address that goes out, and instructions are fetched from read-only memory. These days, it's not read-only memory, they, they're called flash memories that can be uh, reprogrammed, but it's the same idea. And in the past, and to a certain extent, they're still called this, it's, they're, they're, it's called the BIOS. I'm, sh I'm sure you might have heard that in the past, the BIOS, basic input-output system. That code is the code that goes out to the disk and brings up, brings from the disk the master boot record and transfers control to it. So the, your machine coming up to where you're logging on and interacting with it has a number of detailed steps. You apply power, there's a certain amount of initialization that goes on at the hardware level. The uh, basic firmware is brought in and executed, some more initialization of the processor, the microprocessor. Once that's complete, code goes out to your disk, brings in the master boot record, starts executing that. That goes out to the rest of the disk and brings in the operating system, transfers control to that. The operating system comes up, starts various programs, paints the pretty pictures, and then you, you get your desktop and you start interacting. You run Word, these are other programs. That's how, that's the kind of the genesis as, it, as the machine comes up. So at any stage of that boot up that can be corrupted will then propagate across multiple boot ups. So if, you're, if your machine is seriously compromised, the way to clean it for sure is to what's called reformat the disk. And by reformatting the disk, what that means is that you take all the magnetic information that's on that disk and wipe it clean so that the disk has no information on it. And then you start building up again. It's, if you know what you're doing, it's easily a two-day process. If you don't know what you're doing, don't even try it because it's, the, the instructions are usually very um, poorly written and hard to follow. And uh, they, they, and t they, they believe that every step that you're instructed to do is going to work perfectly. As soon as it doesn't work perfectly, you're left like, what do I do now? And there's, there's nobody to talk to, and, and so it's, it's, it's difficult. If your file has already been corrupted, and you upload it, yeah. and, and you wipe your machine clean, and you bring it back, boom, it's back. Bye-bye. That's, that's the other thing that uh, is interesting about machines, uh, about computers. You know, uh, in the past, if you, if, you, if you want to protect something, you put it in the safe, you, you open the safe, and it's gone. With computers, that's not the case. You have some information you want to protect, and you put it in your machine, a, a criminal comes by and steals it. You look in your machine, that information is still there. But he has it also, because it's been duplicated. So you, don't e you, you can't tell that it's been stolen. And that's a big problem in uh, you know, the, the, the detection. 
have I been compromised? And a particularly uh, malicious and sophisticated uh, cyber engineer, criminal, you won't know it's happened. And, uh, and yeah. I have a question, like, when I try to uh, put an executable file on, a, on my computer and run it, it doesn't work because it has to go through the registry. It has to be, I mean, it used to work years ago, early versions of Windows, but now uh, you have to, like, go through an install program and all this stuff to get it to work. Now, how does the criminal get around that? I mean, if you just put some code, how does the computer Execute. Well, well, well execute? Not, not all programs have to go through the registry to begin with. But the criminal knows about the registry, so he will make whatever entries are needed to... There, there are uh, uh, commands you can send to the operating system to write to the registry, so he can set it up ahead of time and then install his software and it's there. But if you just, like, read an email, how does that... Into executable file. Yeah, there's there's a there's a provision that when you read an email, uh, that uh, code can be attached to it to display certain characteristics of that email, and so the machine will execute that code. And it's it's you're not even aware of it. just in the same way as you wouldn't think plugging in a memory stick is going to involve executing code that's on the memory stick, but it does. Uh, in the same way with uh, certain uh, DVDs, if you if you notice, if you have a movie DVD, you put it into your reader, push it in, and all of a sudden stuff starts happening. That's because the operating system knows to go out to the DVD, look for certain files, and execute them. It's meant to make life easy, but it also it is, is, a, is a way for... Based on that, are there, maybe this is the bad, not the right time to ask this question. At the end, might be better. But I want to want to know if there's specific things that you think people should get involved in with respect to uh, programs that they have on their computer and that type of thing. Is there anything that you would say is more off limits, like for example, banking data or whatever? Do you think that that's something that you shouldn't? Well, I I, I recommend that. Uh, um, you, um, especially if you're con con uh, concerned with identity theft and all that kind of thing, that you buy, and they're somewhat inexpensive and maybe even free, and sometimes your bank will provide them. If you c keep that kind of sensitive information on your machine, you encrypt it. Now, encrypting means it gets scrambled in some way that if somebody takes it, and I'll show you an example of that as we go on, that it makes it unusable. Uh -huh. What if you go to your online uh, bank website to get information, but you don't like, you know, copy it or anything like that? Is it safe on theirs? Do you know well, what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. So, so let's just uh, talk that through. Mm -hmm. So, you get on your machine, yeah, you get on the browser, you know, some or some browser, and you bring that information as it's displayed on your machine. It's displayed on your machine. It's there. It's there. It's on your machine. So if if your machine has been subverted, that's it. So when you have this like hacking at City, would you have to be a Citibank client who looks into their Citibank online account for them to no. do that or just goes to anybody that they decide? Well, to if it depends them? upon what kind of hacking they're doing. If they're getting into the Citibank database, you would have to be in that database. But it could even be a database from the past. Wouldn't it could even be a problem? database from the past. It's estimated, it's estimated that uh, as soon as a new machine is, is put, the Department of Justice has an estimate that as soon as a, a new machine is put online, it's corrupted within one afternoon. Wow. What the hell? For what? Like, what do they want to do off your machine? Maybe they use it as a zombie. What does that mean? That means that I uh, take your machine and do what I want to do by remote controlling your machine. And so it looks like... Like you're laundering stuff through my machine. Or, or, or causing things like to happen. That. 